Hi everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. In today's video, I have Albie, so if you can hear her, she is walking around. I'm on the floor here in front of the Christmas tree again, because I just think that looks so festive. And of course, anytime I'm down on the floor, she is right here with me. So <laughs> you might hear her little claws as she walks around. Okay. So in today's video, I thought I would go through some of the Christmas gifts I bought this year, just in case anyone's looking for any gift ideas. Uh, yesterday's video, I did stocking stuffers, everything I had got for stocking stuffers for my family, and I thought today I would go through all the Christmas gifts I've got, again, just for ideas. Again, I'm not sure I will have the time to link everything, but I'll maybe try to link as much as I can, especially the stuff that's off Amazon, because I find that it can be tricky to find stuff off of Amazon, and I do have a couple of really great gift options that I've bought from Amazon. So I will try to link those for sure. But before we get into that, let's open our day number five of our advent. Did I say it was Vlogmas day number five? I'm already getting so confused. Let's open up. What do you think it is? It looks like a putty primer. And it is a putty primer. It actually looks full size, I think. Yeah, so it looks like it's an original putty primer, the poreless putty primer. I think I do have one of these. So I'm not gonna touch it or anything. I'll probably pass it on to somebody because again, I do, I'm, I'm almost positive, unless I panned it, but I don't think I did. I think I do have one of these upstairs. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm not gonna touch it and pass that on to somebody because I, you know, I have so many primers that if I have even a little bit of this, it's probably a year's worth of primer for me. So I'm gonna keep that and set it aside. But that's very nice to get because it's one of their kind of iconic products. Okay, so I've got my list here. So let's maybe go through what I got for Barry first. I'll put some little pictures up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But he's got this pair of pants. They're like a, like a multi-purpose men's, I think he gets them from like a tactical supply store or something. But anyways, I found them on Amazon. So I'll put a little picture up so you can see what I'm talking about. He has a pair, but a few months ago, he got a big stain on them and so, you know, it's it's like his favorite pair of pants. So I bought him a pair of those. And uh, again, those I will link and I'll put a price down below. I wanna say they were about $75, so not too bad. And then I got him from Banana Republic, not a pajama set, but more just like loungewear. And they're really nice. It's like a hooded light sweater with like some nice cozy, just lounging pants. And so that's what I got him. And then I did get everybody a snack crate. Let me see if I can find one to show you. Yes, so most of my gifts are already wrapped and under this tree because in one week we are doing our Christmas. So one week today, next Sunday, we're doing our, our Christmas celebration. I mentioned in another vlog, it's just for timing. My boys work out of town and was kind of the only day we had to do it. So my stuff is already bought and wrapped and under the tree, but some of my gifts are wrapped in these bags. I get these bags off of Amazon and they just have the little cinch tie and then I just tie it in a little bow. I have a whole bunch of packs of these. I bought, every year I kind of buy a couple new packs of them, just again, off of Amazon and they're fairly inexpensive and I love them. I love the red and white. That's typically what I do for Christmas is all red and white. They're good enough quality, you know, like they're not fantastic quality, but they're perfect because one, they save me a ton of time for wrapping and less waste. Like I'm not doing tons of bags of wrapping paper to the landfill every Christmas anymore. And so I absolutely love these and some of my gifts are wrapped because I have a whole bunch of these in storage. I have six Rubbermaid bins of Christmas decorations in storage. <laughs> and so all I had that didn't make it in storage and the only reason it didn't make it in storage was because we ran out of room in storage when I had this little tiny Christmas tree that I had downstairs. My, my giant nine foot tree is in storage and honestly, it wouldn't fit in this little tiny townhouse anyway. I'm not even sure it's gonna fit in the new house, to be honest, but anyways. And all my Christmas decorations are in storage. All of my like tree decorations, my house decorations, everything. The only thing that wasn't in storage was this little mini tree, 
the stockings that I have, I showed them in my last video, but I had just ordered these new from Chapters at the end of last year. And so they were in a separate box because I didn't use them last year. Um, this will be the first year I'm using them. And so I that box didn't make it into storage. These were so cute. I saw these at the start of last Christmas, but they were, I wanna say they were 50 or $55 each. And of course I wanted to get six stockings. So it was too expensive. I didn't get them, but Boxing Day, they were 50 or 60% off. They're so nice. They're really, really nice quality. So I'm so happy I have those because, you know, I didn't have much. And then for my tree decorations, I went to the dollar store and spent like $50 and bought a bunch of decorations for the house. Nothing fancy, nothing much at all, but just a few things to make it kind of look a little festive. Okay, so anyway, so I can't open everything to show you because lots of stuff's already wrapped, but one thing that I did get for everybody, I got everybody one of these snack crates. Now, I do usually do some kind of food box every year. I used to get the Tokyo Treat ones, and I love those ones, and I think there's a Secura one that's within that same company. And what I do is just maybe like September-ish, I sign up, and once a month, I get a box delivered. And then at the end of the season, once I have the three or four boxes that I want, I just pause or cancel my subscription. So these work out to, I think, about $30 each. And what's inside them is this one. Who was this one for? I think this one was for Jacob. Yeah. So when you open it up, it says which country the snacks are from. These are from South Korea. And then inside here is treats from South Korea. These are so cool. I, again, I do some kind of treat box like this every year. I know I've mentioned it in lots of videos, but as a family, we love to try new things. And so these are a great gift idea. And so I've got one of these for everybody, actually, Barry, the boys, and Randy, because she also really enjoys them. So everybody's getting a snack crate. And then also with that for a food item, just get that back in there. Let me wrap this gift, gift back up and show you how quick and easy it is. <laughs> and just like that, it's done. Um, I also get everybody a Hickory Farm because my boys and Barry love Hickory Farms. And so this is the one I got for Barry and the boys. It's got the beef sausage, crackers, the mustard that they like, and a cheese. I don't know if Hickory Farms is everywhere, but it's where I am. They're everywhere. They're in the malls. You could order these online. So I got the boys and Barry each one of those. Again, I do that every single year and they love them. Some years I do bigger ones. Some years I do smaller ones. It just kind of depends. And then for Randy, because I wasn't sure she would maybe want that, but I did want to get her one as well. I got her this little box and it's the dark chocolate coated caramels with sea salt. Delicious. So I got that one for her. Just again, I wasn't sure she would want that meat and cheese and crackers and again just i just love these little bags <laughs> hopefully they're still available on amazon because I've, I've bought them every year of the last three years so i feel like they are but again they do come in all these different kind of prints and yeah anyways love that okay so that's barry i got him that lounge set from banana i got him those pants that he really i think he'll love and a couple of you know food items the hickory farms and the snack crate for my oldest son tyler for his birthday is a week before Christmas. And so he wanted something big for his truck. So we combined his birthday and Christmas because it was quite a pricey item, um, but he ordered some part for his truck that he wanted. And so that takes care of his big Christmas gift and his birthday gift. But I did also get him a Hickory Farm box. I did also get him a snack crate. And then I bought him this charging lamp. I'm gonna put a picture of it up here because I actually bought this for both boys. I ordered it on Amazon. I will link it below. It is the coolest thing. If you're looking for a gift idea, I think this is a really neat one if you have somebody in your life who this would fit for. So it's the little charging base for your phone and it's the, it's the touch charger. Like you don't plug it in, you just place your phone on top of this and it charges your phone. And then it has this swivel arm that is a touch lamp. 
and then it, it plays white noise. Like there's a whole bunch of white noise settings. So I did buy one for both my boys. However, I already gave Jacob his because they were struggling to get Ren to sleep. And I had read online that white noise may help. They didn't have one. I had the gift here. It didn't make sense to hold on to it till Christmas. So I've already given Jacob his and they're getting tons of use out of it. And little Ren loves the white noise. So it's a great item and it works really well. And it's we've already tried it. So I know it's good. I want to say it was about 70 ish dollars. So not not really inexpensive, but Tyler needed some sort of bedside lamp. And I thought the white noise and the charging base, all of it, it was a really good gift. So I bought that for both boys. And then I also got my oldest son, Tyler, one of these drink smoking cocktail kits. These have been all over my Facebook and Instagram. And I thought it looked super cool online. So he's really into, you know, fancy cocktails and they go to those speakeasies and little secret bars and stuff all the time. He really enjoys that and he likes to have a fancy cocktail that he's made himself, right? And so this comes with, now I got to pick the smoke flavor and I think I picked apple. Yeah, so it comes with the chips that you use to smoke and I got him the apple wood ones. And then it comes with, I don't exactly know how it works, but it comes with all these little parts so that you can, you know, add smoke to your drink, which I think you'll really think that's pretty cool. Again, he kind of likes that sort of thing. Yeah, so you can see there how they've added smoke to that drink. So I think he's gonna think that's super cool. So I got him that. Is that everything that I got for him? I think so. Again, his, his big gift was that part for his truck. So I just did a couple little extra add-on gifts and I, I know I mentioned it in my stocking stuffer video as well but I have really tried to cut back for a whole bunch of reasons but honestly we just we just don't need a bunch of stuff and you know I I have past years really kind of gone crazy for Christmas actually every year other than this year and so just trying to cut back just trying to be less of a consumer has been my goal across the board all year so yeah, I did pretty good this, this Christmas actually. I did really cut back and so, what? Okay, and then for Jacob, his big Christmas gift he wanted, I'll, I'll pop a picture up here, an OGO bag for his work stuff. So again, he goes away for two weeks for work. And so he wanted this really good quality OGO bag so that he could put all his stuff in it and it's waterproof and it's, you know, keeps everything clean as he's traveling to and from work. So that was his big Christmas gift was the OGO bag. And I did already give it to him because he was going up to work. Didn't make sense to keep it. So on top of that, I got him that charging lamp that he's already received. I've got a hickory farm box and a snack crate here for him. And then I bought him a sweatsuit that it was a Hurley sweatsuit that I found at Costco. And it was such a great deal. And with a new baby, honestly, they are mostly just in sweatsuits in their house, right? So I got him a sweatsuit and I, I think he's probably gonna just love it. And it was such a good deal at Costco. And actually also at Costco, I got each of the guys, I forgot, I'm just remembering now, I got each of the guys these fleecy, fuzzy long sleeve tops. They were $20 each. I've got some weird light coming in here. Okay, there, sorry. I didn't notice I had some some streaks. I wasn't, I wasn't watching myself. I got the boys and Barry these really nice, warm, fuzzy, fleecy tops. So I thought the boys for work, that would be great. For Barry, if he's doing something outside, it would be great. They were $20 each. I got them each one of those. Those are wrapped under the tree. So I think that's it for them. For Randy, Jake's girlfriend, I got her, again, a snack crate in the Hickory Farm. I got her a hair dryer. I actually won the hair dryer, but I'm gonna give it to her. It's one of those ones with the um, bristles on it, like a blowout dryer to get, you know, some waves and volume in your hair. I want it and I, it's really nice. It's a professional grade hair dryer and I wanted to keep it for myself, but I have one. I have the Revlon one and it works perfectly fine and I use it all the time and it didn't make sense to me to have two of them just so I could, all, I could have the cheaper one and the fancy one or I don't have space because my little bathroom in this townhouse is so small. So anyways, it didn't make sense for me to keep the nice one, 
even though I really wanted to keep it because I already had one. And so I thought, well, it's a beautiful gift to give to somebody and I think she'll really like it. And I don't think she has one and she's got a ton of gorgeous hair. And so I, I wrapped that up to give to her. I also got her a nice hot water bottle because <laughs> she's right now using mine. And so she doesn't have one. And you know, sometimes as a nursing mom and stuff, you need a hot water bottle. And so right now she has mine, um, but I would like mine back. <laughs> so I got her, I got her a hot water bottle. Um, yeah, so, so I got her the Hickory Farm, the snack crate, the hot water bottle, the hair dryer, and then I got her an outfit from Lululemon. So I will show you what I got her here because it's so cute. And then I'll just wrap it back up. So I got her one of these fuzzy fanny packs. Um, for my birthday, my husband bought me one of these, but mine is a cream color and she loved it. So I got her one of those. And I got her a pair of jogger pants. Oh, you can't really see, but these are the Align HR Jogger. So the Align is their really soft fabric. And so I actually, ha these are the same ones that I have in the black camel print black and gray camel print and i love them they are so comfortable and then i got her this really nice wool sweater let's see what is this called this is the reversible double knit crew neck sweater it's again it's so nice and cozy and i just thought as a new mom some loungewear right that's really what you want is some loungewear so i got her this is this is her big gift um, cause if you're not familiar with Lululemon, it's expensive. <laughs> so that was her big gift. And then just a couple other things for her to open. And yeah, I, I think that's it. I think that's kind of what I got here for everybody. There might be a couple other little odds and sods that I am not thinking of, but those are kind of the main gifts. So the things that I think are that I can, especially off Amazon, I will link. I'll try to find these, these gift bags too, and link them down below because I think they're super cute and they save me time and they save me waste, which great, right? Save me time, save me waste. That's perfect. So there you go, you guys. There are some maybe Christmas gifts ideas for you guys. I hope it's helpful. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. It's uh, so far, I'm on day five. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Hanging in there. I know I say that at the end of every video. I was thinking this morning actually that probably come the weekend, I'm gonna miss some days because we're doing our Christmas celebrations on Sunday. And so probably Saturday, I'll spend the day doing like meal prep and stuff. And I'll probably film a little bit of that so you guys can see. But come Sunday, I'm just gonna spend that with my family and enjoy that day. So I'm sure I'll miss a video or two around that time. And then I'll just try to get back on track and catch up. But tomorrow, I went yesterday to the Asian market which is just one of my favorite places. We had dim sum, my husband and I. Soup dumplings are just my favorite thing. I had soup dumplings, they were delicious. And then we did some other running around and the place that I normally get my ham, fr ham from, they're not carrying that brand anymore. So I had to actually go online and order the ham and it will be here Thursday. And yeah, so, but anyways, I bought a big bag full of Asian, Asian snacks to try. Some things I've tried before and some things that are new to me. So I thought we could do that together tomorrow. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> so yeah, if you are enjoying the video, if it was helpful, if you got some good ideas, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, if you would subscribe, that would be amazing. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye everyone. <laughs>